Um, there are a number of places in the summary for policy makers where um, key risks are talked about around one and a half, two degrees, and a number of places where they're talked about around three to four degrees. Now, obviously, the chances of exceeding one to two um, are much higher than getting to three or four. You can talk about the low probability risks, which I know you're very concerned with, Barry. That's what leads to those outcomes being left up um, to choice, to policy choices. So, um, you know, I think David said it very well, that, that it's, there hasn't been an effort to put that in probabilities or likelihoods, um, but it is in a sense being reflected back to <coughs> policy makers and saying, look, there are choices around these things, uh, and, and we need to be aware of what can happen. Um, in terms of stranded assets, yes, there will be lots. Um, I would imagine around the place, um, it looks like also that there are going to be new horizons opened um, around the Northwest Passage and, and otherwise. Um, jumping into Working Group 3 a little bit, the Alpha Mine findings came down uh, earlier this week in the Galilee Basin. I was an expert witness in that. One of the things we did that we hadn't done before was that we looked at what would happen if we went to a two degree world. How much of global emissions would that alpha mine be by itself if we managed to get emissions down to that level? And it was pretty close to one and a half percent. So uh, it, was, it was pretty close to one percent. And the three mines, if they opened up there, would be four and a half percent. So we actually really are facing a choice. I think if we have a vibrant coal industry, we're heading for three or four degrees. Uh, if we have a boutique coal industry, we're heading down there for one or two. And so if we make choices on that basis now and we get that wrong, we'll absolutely have stranded assets. Uh, if we make those choices and we go to three or four degrees, we'll absolutely have stranded assets.